all my Friday Five watchers. Welcome back to another episode of things that I have been into for this past week. And without further ado, I'm just going to get right into it. So the first thing that I have been into this week is curly hair. And it hasn't just been for this week, it's been for a while now. Since my hair has been a little bit longer, I have been primarily styling it like pretty curly. I think it kind of looks like 70s, I don't know, I like it. And I've been using a curling wand that I got on Amazon Prime Day. And I will put the name right here because I can't remember it right off the bat. And I love it. I um, It gets really, really hot, so I've burned myself self a couple of times, which is the only downfall of it. But my curls tend to stay in, which they do anyway. My hair is pretty coarse, so the curls stay in and it has like a natural wave to it. So my curls don't tend to fall out anyway, but I just feel like it gives it that extra little bounce. And yeah, I've been loving it. It was uh, pretty inexpensive and it also comes with five different barrels which is really awesome because sometimes I will like these kind of like wavy uh, curls and sometimes I want bigger curls or a lot smaller and it comes with five different options so I love that new contraption that I've been playing with. Secondly, as I'm standing right here, I have been obviously into chokers which I talked about I think on my first episode and um I just, I love chokers. I love the whole trend. And this is a new one, and it's also, it's from Forever 21, which is where I get a lot of my, uh, fashion, fast fashion pieces, obviously. I think it was like $3.90, and I love this kind of burgundy color with the chain underneath it. It's been really fun to wear. Um, and yeah, I think I have like three or four different chokers, and I love them. For number three, Dave and I have been eating a ton of these things that we call protein balls, but I'm not sure what they're actually called. Basically, they're just oats, peanut butter, coconut, flax, um, and chia seeds. And then sometimes we put in like other types of nuts like walnuts or whatever. But essentially, we just keep them in the fridge and they're really good on the go breakfast or just snack in general. Um, and then I sweeten them a little bit with honey. And my biggest trick is to heat up the peanut butter before I mix in the oats because it gets the peanut butter a little bit more runny and that way the oats just stir in really easily. So they're no bake, they're super easy on the go or for at home or after a workout or whatever and I make a big batch on Monday usually and then we eat them throughout the week. Number four, I have been loving the game category. So I'm a huge board game player and so are my friends and so I was over at one, one of my friends the other day and we pulled out categories and had a blast. It's so much fun. I forgot how much fun it is. I asked my mom if we could borrow their categories game for when friends come over and she's like just have it. So now we have an older version of categories and it's been so much fun to play. So um, if you have categories in your cupboard, definitely pull it out because it is a awesome game. And then lastly, I have been really loving this piece from Arizona Craft Co. And I did a feature on them and um, Sammy, who's the owner of the company, uh, made this obviously and my mother-in-law got it for me for my birthday so it has her like beautiful stamp right here and I was actually at Changing Hands bookstore and I saw a few of her pieces so way to go Sammy super proud of you and I just think her work is beautiful obviously I love supporting local artists and um, if you have anybody who's having a wedding or a birthday or whatever it's a really awesome gift and I love having it out here and I just put it right here on our little um, bookcase that's out in our living room and then people always comment on how much they love it. So I've been loving this piece a lot. Thank you so much for watching my Friday Five. As you watch this, Dave and I are on our way to Wisconsin and we've never been before and we're going for one of my very, very good friends' weddings and I'm super, super excited. So if you have any good Wisconsin recommendations and leave them down below as I will be reading the comments, I'm sure, on our way over there. And thank you again for watching and I will catch you next week.